Hello there, in this video we're going to create animations with Stable Diffusion and Automatic 11, 11 UI with Animate Div. First, we want to install it if you not yet have. If you do install before, you should see it down below, like right there, it says Animate Div. If not, let's go ahead inside the extensions. We'll click on Available and let's go ahead Load From. So it downloaded all of them and in a search We'll just type animate div just like this, and you can see right here we have our extensions. In my case, it already says it's installed. If you don't have an install, it you just need to click to install. After this, you actually want to restart your um, stable diffusion from command prompt. Just close it, Windows, and start again. After installations, you should see in installed area, it will be available down below. I always also recommend for you to go ahead and click check for updates. Be sure every extension that you have uploaded, it's up to date. If they're not up to date, like right here, you can see it says new commit. For example, for my animated div is available. In this case, you want to go ahead and press apply and restart and allow your server to restart it. In some cases, even after this restart, you maybe want to turn down server and restart it. Some extensions kind of picky. After everything is updated, we're ready to start using. I'm using the Checkpoint Deliberate version 5. If you're interested in this, currently I don't think it's available on the Civit AI. I will provide link down below for you. You can go on a hugging face and download it from there directly. Be sure if you like this checkpoint to support the after. Again, I will provide links for all of these resources down below in descriptions. We're also going to use it with our checkpoints, animate div. And as well for the future animations, we're also going to use it control net. If you don't have it control net, which is most unlikely if you use it stable diffusion before. You can also go inside extensions, available, load from, and download it from here as well. Just same path. So same way, you just use it, look for the control net, and download it. Where is my control net? Right here. Like this one says install it. With control net, you need for, sh for sure to restart your server because it does have a lot of libraries. Also, with control net, I would recommend you to go after in the settings, scroll down in the area where you have it. Control net options, click on control net, and inside here, you can also enable disable some options. Mostly, what I needed it is used a little bit more of available control net like three point. So this is will help you as well to have it more. This is will require restart server as well with your settings. After everything is installed, let's go ahead and try. So first I'm going type. So right there, this is what I want to do portrait of Superman. And we'll just leave it. Let's switch this to the cars M. We'll put it maybe 25 steps and leave it everything same. Let's go ahead, click generate. So we can just preview, see how it's look. And right here we have a very nice portrait that we can go to use. Now it will be nice to animate this. For this, we're going to use the animate div. Let's expand it. And we want to use it model. It's have it multiple different models. Links will be down below for you to download it. You can use it, animated motions is very nice, as well as MMs SD. Notice they're all V15, so it is using the work with a checkpoints with the 15.1.5 version stable diffusion. So SDXL not yet supported with those motion uh, modules. You will get it some errors if you start doing this. To download that checkpoint for animations, you need going to the Hugging Face Path. It will be provided down below for you as well, and download this file. 
be sure you download this file in specific location. It will be in your stable diffusion folder extensions. In extension, you need find SD Web UI Animate Div folder, expand, and inside the model subfolder, you need place here. So in this case, it will find just by that extension. Next, we have it also say format GIF. And I know some people call it GIF, some people call it GIF. So we won't go in this war at that point. I will just refer you to check Wikipedia how you should pronounce this. And we uncheck PNG because I don't want to save just only one animation file. Next, we're going to enable our animations. Number of frames. Let's go ahead at 32 frames. We'll have it FPC 8. Context batch file. It's how many frames will create it and kind of working between them. Be sure they will qualify as one. And in some cases, CFG scale will maybe one pop up a little bit higher. But for now, we'll just leave it default of seven. And close the loop is enabled. RP. So their last frames kind of going forward. I think this is look good for now. Let's go ahead and click generate. This will take a little bit longer time because it does need to regenerate 32 frames right now. And you can see as a render, it's created our sheet of the frames that going to use in our animations. On the end is going to assemble. And right here we have it, our image created. Actually, I like how the lighting add you can see it's a loopable, very nice animations. The few options you can modify, see what result you wanted. One with CFG scale. Of course, if we drop very low, like to one, it will be a huge difference between the frames. Or in some cases, if you want to go higher, but then will be less animation. So you can play with this as well. Additional options if we look on a context batch. If you reduce this to about maybe eight frames, you'll have a too much distortions on the background. It won't be consistent with this. And if you have it too high, it will be more blurry and you almost don't see any difference. So you can play with this. Usually it's a divide by how many frames you have. For example, 32 divided by half, it will be about 16 frames. Also frames per second. Currently it says eight. It's actually very good for the our animations as a file. If you're going with a um, file like MP4 or WebM, then you want to switch maybe to 12 frames per second or 24. So divide by 24 kind of more useful. It's up to you. So let's go ahead and try something different. Because beside just creating from text to text, we also can drop video here directly and create from the video. Let's go ahead and try this. For this, I put it image inside and we can actually preview a little bit of this image, but notice it is automatically adjust 25 frames and we have a 375 frames. So it's quite a bit frames total. Well, in this case, what I want to do is just maybe to decrease. I know the quality won't be up there, but maybe to the 10 steps. You can always verify if you just click, let's go remove Superman, a poser, just Superman then steps we can always click and verify it how it will look and let's wait a second till it's processing and here eh, look quite a bit ugly okay let's go maybe to 20. We'll generate a little bit more i think the deliberate is like maybe about 35 it's where the best quality but for the test for this because time i don't want to spend too much time on this as example I think this one has actually worked very well. So we're going this as well. If you notice, it is kind of wide frame. For this, we're going to say with 768. So we'll just make a little bit wider. Okay, this kind of enable. But next, we want to take from our animations and use it in control net. So we'll expand control net in this case. And notice right here we have it only image so we can put it only image around or it will actually read from what extract from there so we'll go ahead enable this enable our open pose and right here you can see we have it our open pose preloaded let's go click 
more on the control net. Also, I want to enable pixel perfect because with this case, it will read our original image. And I think this is actually will work good. The, if you're not sure about reading original, you can always take um, your file video file on the frames and using as a batch file right here and specify your input directory. So in this case, what I want to do as example, I'm going to use the batch file with a single frame. So right here is my frames. And if you're looking for this, this is how all the single frames from this image from this video is looking to extract the frames. If you don't have it, I would recommend for you to go and download this shutter encoder link will provide down below. It's very easy to use as well. All what you need to do is just take the video file. You have it drop on the middle. Next, you want to have choose the functions and our functions is will be JPEG images. Right here, we want to create check create image sequence, specify in a place where you want to do it and start function. That is all. Actually, nice things about shutter encoder, it can take it and compress back to video from single images. So very simple, straightforward to use. Okay, after we're done, I think they're all working. Now we're ready to go ahead and click on generate. This may take a little bit time. So it's good time to go ahead and take a break. Okay, so right here's our animations done and you can see it's apply control net and well, it's quite a bit sexy dance for our spider <laughs> Superman going on here. It took a little bit time because we had what about 375 frames. I think it's what the right there says. You can see we have it some little bit lower consistency. We can upscale by CFG scale and other things to create a little bit better background is not bad and I don't see so much flickering. Of course, some quality is a reduction due to uh, reducing and sampling steps and as well context batch files. So for this one probably should have a 32, but this will take a little bit longer time to render. But overall, it's kind of funny and I'm surprised it did actually very well for 375 frames because usually uh, I found the anime diff it's better if it's work in amount like maybe couple seconds of animations um, and then you can compile all them together that way it's performed the best but for this even the long one is actually performed quite a bit nice way and you can see of course it's a loop at animations and done very well thank you for watching this video hopefully you find it useful interesting and please let me know of what you created have a great day.